Hello, year nine. Um, some more examples from me. This is to help with task 585, which is on the surface area of prisms. And um, this is your task for Thursday. But I think, um, yeah, it's definitely worthwhile watching this because it can be quite tri tricky and there can be a lot to think about with these kinds of questions. So we are working out the surface area of both of these prisms. The first thing to think about is what is a prism? And a prism is something that has a constant cross section. So this triangle here runs through the whole shape. Okay, and that triangle at the other end will be exactly the same. So this trapezoid here, that trapezium will run through the whole shape and be the same on the other side. So that's really important to know when I'm working out the surface area. So I'm going to start with this. And when I'm talking about surface area, it means I'm working out the areas of every single surface every single face, they're called faces, that this has. Now, this shape has five faces. It's got the two triangles, and then it's got this rectangle here, the rectangle at the bottom, and the rectangle at the back. I'm going to have to work out what all those areas are and add them together to get the total surface area. So I'm going to start with the triangles because there are two of them. So with the triangles, remember we've got to do the base times the perpendicular height. A bit of right angles, that's a right angle, so we can do that. And then we've got to divide it by two. So we're going to have six times eight divided by two. Six times eight is 48 and divide that by two. That is 24. And it's meter squared because there are meters and we're doing an area. Now there are two triangles. So 24 times two because there's that one there and that one on the other end is 48 meters squared. So that is the surface area for the triangles. I'm now going to do it for um, the rectangles which go around the edge. So I'm going to start with this big rectangle up there. There are three rectangles. So I'm going to have rectangle one is this one here, which is 10 by 12, which is 120 meters squared. I'm actually just going to Make sure I've put in boxes the bits that are important. Um, my next one, I've got triangle two, which I'm going to do is this this back bit. So rectangle, or I said triangle, didn't I? I meant rectangle two. is going to be this length times by that, which is six by 12, because that length is the same as that. So six by 12. Six times 12 is 72 meters squared. And then triangle three, that's this one at the bottom there. So the base of it, I think I keep saying triangle, I mean rectangle, rectangle three. This one at the bottom is going to be eight by whatever that length is. And because that length's 12, that is also 12. So it's eight by 12, which is 96 meters squared. To get the total surface area, I just need to add them together. So I'm just going to quickly do it on my calculator. 48 plus 120 plus 72 plus 96, which is 336 metres squared. And that is the total surface area for this shape. I'm now going to do this one because it's a little more complex. I'm actually going to rub all this out. So if you need a chance to write it down, just pause the video or go back and re-watch it. Give myself some extra space. So what we have here is we've got a trapezium on this side and a trapezium on that side as well and they're the same because it's got that constant cross section throughout so they've got to be the same and then I've got four rectangles. I've got the rectangle up here, one there and one on the other side as well and then also one that is on the bottom. So I've got quite a lot going on here. I'm going to start with the trapezium and I know there are two of them, one there and one on the other side. So remember the formula for a trapezium is, trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides times the height between them. So we've got half, the parallel sides in this trapezium are that and that, that is 34. And this one here is the same as that, so it is 6, and the height between them is 15. So we've got a half times 40 times 15, which 
I could do in my head, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do it on the calculator really quickly, which is 300. And this is in centimetres, so centimetres squared. So I have now got what one trapezium is. Obviously, I have two because I've got that one and that one. So I'm just going to do 300 times two, which we all know is 600 centimetres squared. So that's the trapezium done. I've now got to think about my different rectangles. So I'm going to think about the rectangle on top first. Remember, there are four different rectangles. So this rectangle on top, it's got a width of six, and I need to know what that length is. Now, fortunately, that length is the same as this length, so that must be 30. So we're going to do six times 30, which is 180 centimetres squared. So that's rectangle one. And that was the one on top. I might just write top there as well. I'm going to do rectangle two now, which is going to be the one on the bottom. Now I can really clearly see that it's got a width of 34 and it goes, it's got a length of 30. So I've got to do 34 times 30 again. You could do all this without a calculator, but I'm just very quickly going to shove it in there, which is 1020 centimetres squared. So I've got the top, bottom, and I've got the two trapeziums. I now just need the ones on the sides. I'm going to start with this one on the side. So I've got, this is going to be rectangle three. And it's going to be side, one of the sides. It's a very bad one, but oh well. So I've got, it goes along 30. And so width is 30, length is 25. So 25 times 30. Again, just really quickly for speed, 750 centimetres squared. And then finally, I've got this rectangle on that side that we can't actually see, but it obviously is there. So this is our final rectangle. And I'm just going to call it side two because it's the other side. Um, and this length, we're told, is 17. This length going across is going to be the same as this one. If you imagine that, these are the same, those are the same, they're all 30. So it's going to be that I'm going to do 17 times 30. And 17 times 30 is 510 centimetres squared. Obviously, if I want the total surface area, I've got to add up all my parts in my boxes. So I've got 600, add 180, add 1020, add 750, add 510, which is... 3,060 centimetres squared. Okay. Now, if you are finding these tricky, do go back and watch the video again. You can do your questions with my one kind of playing at the same time. So then you do exactly the same kind of process, but just for different numbers. I hope that's helpful, girls, and good luck with the task.